What is good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the one and only Rum Boys Fantasy Network. It's your boy, your host, Rum Boys Robbie. Thank you all for joining me tonight. Just about 48 hours away from kickoff. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And if you don't know, if you don't know, you probably already know. Last year, we was breaking backs on the books. Smacking that ass, smacking that ass. Make sure that you guys give us a like. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. Drop a comment if you agree or disagree with any of my takes tonight. And most importantly, share the content. By you sharing the content and this knowledge getting out to everyone, we can all work together and use our knowledge together to beat the books, all right? That's what it's all about. That's what we're here for here on the Rum Boys Fantasy Network. Cheers to me, cheers to you, all the Rum Boys and Girls. What it do, dilly dilly. It's time for NFL Week 1 Top 6 Bets and Picks, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to run through them. You're going to see them pop up on the screen. I'm also going to drop you a little take ski to go along with it, all right, to justify why I'm feeling the way that I'm feeling, all right? Let's go ahead. Let's dive into it. Six bets, quick hits. Arr. So, Ravens, Chiefs, under 46 and a half at minus 113. I am taking the under in the season opener for the Ravens versus Chiefs at that 46 and a half. At that minus 113, it just feels like a good value to me. I see this game being a defensive battle, all right? Both these teams, despite the glaze that both quarterbacks get from fans, have damn good defenses. Damn good defenses, all right? While I don't think that this is going to be the 17-0 stinker that we saw from last year's playoffs, I do think that versus it being a revenge narrative, this is going to be a prove-it narrative for Lamar Jackson to sit back and look at Mahomes from the other side of the sideline and say, I'm just as good as you, if not damn near better. Of course, uh, those two gentlemen are going to have to sort that out on the gridiron. For betting purposes, this is what we're rocking with. I got my uh, odds off of DraftKings, by the way, by the way. I also have links for other sports books down, uh, down below. Next up, yo, I'm going to keep running these games in order. We started with the season, over for, uh, the season opener for Thursday night football. Let's get into Friday night football. We are going to be covering this game instead of giving you guys run boys after dark, okay? Jordan Love over one and a half TDs at minus 145, all right? Jordan Love over one and a half TDs, minus 145 in that Brazil game versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Jordan Love has thrown for two or more touchdowns in each of the Packers' last six games, okay? I think he's going to continue that streak in Brazil against the Eagles. The city's hot. It's spicy. It's on fire. You know what I want? I want fire. I want spice when I'm heading into the books Friday night. Plus, Jordan Love is in my big money league on my big money fantasy football team. I need you to throw for two TDs, pimping. Let's get into the third game. We are going to head into Sunday's slate. All right. We already took care of our two primetime games. Let's jump right into the Sunday slate. I am going to give you a morning game, and I'm going to give you an afternoon game before we get into Sunday night football. All right? For our morning game, I am riding with the Texans, two and a half versus the Colts at minus 118. I know what all of you are thinking. Well, then you might as well just take the money line at minus 148 or if you're going to be riding with Houston to win it by two and a half or to cover by, you know, two and a half. Here's the thing. I absolutely think that Houston is going to dominate this game. But the juice is a little bit better. The juice is worth the squeeze on the minus 118. I get better value on the books there. I personally think, all right, everyone is healthy. Everyone is healthy especially for Indy, including Anthony Richardson. I think the Texans and C.J. Stroud have a lot of shiny new toys that they acquired during the offseason. Stephon Diggs, Joe Mixon, 
And they want to show those shiny new toys. They want to flex. And what better way to do that than make a statement in week one against a divisional opponent to go 1-0 in the division to start your season? This team is having playoff implications, Super Bowl talks. They feel like they're ready. I feel like they're ready. Most of you at home probably feel like they're ready, unless you're an Indianapolis Colts fan. This is how I'm feeling on this take in regards to C.J. Stroud and the Houston Texans. Getting into that afternoon window. Shop a shop GLD. Link is down below. Get your GLD just like me. I am rocking my, my commander's chain. So I am going to give you guys a commander's prop for week one on episode one of our top six bets and picks. By the way, all these episodes will be dropped. I record them on Tuesday nights. You usually get them Wednesday mornings. All right. All right. Many men. Many, 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 many men. Well, right now that's Ricky Pearsall, but y'all dig what I'm saying. Brian Robinson, anytime TD at plus 200 against the Tampa Bucks. The under at Raymond James Stadium last year was two, uh, was two and seven. All right. The under last year at Raymond James Stadium was two and seven, making points difficult to come by in an atmosphere like Raymond James Stadium. That Bucks defense, super hard to score against. They're dominant at home. But Brian Robinson hits this prop at a 53.3% clip. Last year, he was hitting this at a 53.3% clip. A little bit better than half. Well, with odds like that, when you complement those odds with the rushing abilities and the backfield that's going to have JD5 and Eckler, you're going to have Jane Daniels at QB who can scramble at any given time that he wants. You're going to have Eckler who's also, you know, going to be able to pass catch and be able to be able to work those early downs. I feel like Brian Robinson is going to be the goal line guy, the third down, fourth down, pound him, ground and pound him type of bat. So with that being said, I expect B-Rob to be a powerhouse back in these situations. I easily see it being a goal and goal situation and them handing it off to Brian Robinson. So there's my Washington pick for all y'all. And then we're going to keep we're going to keep moving. We're going to get into prime time. Sunday night football. Sunday night football is back. Sunday night football is back at Ford Field. The Rams have to host and tr- the Rams have to have to travel, I'm sorry. For the Detroit Lions who are hosting 12 of the Lions' last 13 season openers have gone over the total points line. That's right, over. The over was 7-3 last year at Ford Field. Complement that with also Stafford being back at the in the Motor City. Stafford always puts up numbers, no matter what, no matter what uniform he's wearing. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to smash the over at 50.5, minus 113 value. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to smash that heading into Sunday night's game. I'm buying that now while I'm recording this on a Tuesday. I feel like it's great value. I think it's going to be, they're going to blow the lid off the building. Whereas the first game that I mentioned at this during this segment, I felt under. This one, I feel over. I feel like they blow the lid off the, off the damn stadium. All right? Getting into our final pick. Rum Day Night Football. Rum Day Night Football, again, finally fucking back. The best time of the year. Although in this game it's Jets, Niners, although Aaron Rodgers is making his return, this prop that I'm about to give you guys isn't about Aaron Rodgers. I get that that's where all the storylines and the narratives are. This prop is about the other quarterback in this game. Brock Purdy. Brock, oh, Purdy, ladies and gentlemen, big cock Brock. Brock Purdy is on a nine-game hot streak of 252-plus passing yards whenever at home. The 49ers, that offense is just too high octane. It's damn near impossible to cover everyone. Trent Williams being brought back. Are you brought back? 
Debo, still there. Kittle, still there. Christian McCaffrey in the backfield. He's able to catch passes out the backfield, and he's able to turn up for big gains. I don't care that it's Sauce Gardner on the other side. I don't care about the other pieces that the Jets have on defense. I don't think that you can stop this offense. Although it is very difficult for opposing teams to score, you know, against the 49ers. Also, if you may want to couple this, you can couple the under with it as well. But uh, the under for the game, the, for the total points in the game. But all in all, for the sake of our top six, Brock Purdy, 237 and a half passing yards. He's hitting at 252 plus in his last nine. Give me the one. Give me it. Give me that at 115. All damn day. All damn day. All right. Now. I do just want to remind everyone, these odds specifically are off of DraftKings. Uh, you can use my refer my, my refer a friend link down below and get 20 DK dollars plus additional 15 in contest tickets. All right. Link is going to be down below. I'll have that for you guys. You can also utilize my other links that I have down below for other books as well. Okay. Um, the odds are going to be a little bit different, but not too different. I also want to remind everyone, play these as singles. You do not have to parlay these, all right? If you do want to parlay all six of these, you're looking at plus 6172, all right? When I look at the math, if you know, if a unit for you is $5, you're looking at bringing back 313.64 if the full parlay hits. If a unit for you is 20, you're looking at 1254 and 88 cents. All right. That's our breakdown. That's our top six plays. That's our top six bets. Our top six picks. However, you want to phrase it. Heading into week one of the 2024 season. I'm Rum Boys Robbie. Like, comment, subscribe. Help us turn this plaque into a silver play button. I love and I appreciate all of you. Hey, and this is the Rum Boys Fantasy Network. We ready for the NFL season, baby. Cheers to me. Cheers to you, all the run boys and girls want to do. Dilly, dilly. Arr.